let's see how to use try, catch and finally in Java. Okay, now I'll take an array. Int array, array is the uh, variable name. New int, I'll take three. So it is array of zero, array of one, and array of two. Three elements. Now I'll assign values to it. I'll assign zero, one, and two to it. So the loop executes for three times. Zero, one, and two array of i is 0 is equal to 0 array of 1 is equal to 1 array of 2 is equal to 2 now I'll print it out let's see how it displays let's see its values okay as we said it has 0 1 and 2 in it array of 0 array of 1 and array of 2 now what if I have taken here only three values and I'll try to print four out of it four values that is array of three also which is not at all existing let's see what error message we will get here so it will print 0 1 and 2 but array of three doesn't exist so it gives an error the error is array index out of bounds exception see the capitals and the small letters it should be written like that it's an exception because we are trying to print something which doesn't exist so such exceptions may arise in your programs so we need to write such a code inside try block the code which may rise exceptions and write corresponding catch that is in this case array index out of bounds is the exception we have got so we need to it's a class by the way we need to create an object of that class and now we can handle it we can simply in this case I'll just write a display message that do not try to print more than what you can store what it can store I can write it like this this is just for demo purpose in actual code we need to handle that exception situation so execute it so 0 1 and 2 is printed array of 3 doesn't exist so array out of bounds exception arises and it prints do not try to print more than it can store I'll, I'll correct it to 3 so now 0 1 and 2 will be printed and catch statement doesn't execute because there is no exception arised here so it will not execute the catch statement what if we have something else some other exceptions like r of 0 is equal to I'll assign 2 and divide it by 0 anything divided by 0 is not defined so it's an exception so let's see what error or what exception it gives now so 0 1 and 2 is printed because they are present array of 3 doesn't okay we have removed that array arithmetic exception because anything divided by 0 arises arithmetic exception it's a class so we write it arithmetic expression exception sorry arithmetic exception we create an object we'll call it e again and we'll print something here for the purpose of demo <coughs> okay do not divide by 0 <laughs> learn math so let's see 
will keep this exception that is 2 divided by 0 so that it should arise arithmetic exception for us ok 0 1 2 is printed array of 0 is equal to 2 by 0 it arises arithmetic ex exceptions so it executes the code inside the catch block of arithmetic exception now what if we get something else unexpected error out of it unexpected exception out of that try block in such a case we need to write we have a super class called exception itself it will catch all the exception whatever irrespective if an exception arises it does catch it doesn't leave it so I'll print something out here too if an exception arised by the code present in the try block is not array index out of bound exception and if neither is array arithmetic exception then this exception the catch block that exception catch block will handle it okay finally there is another keyword called finally finally gets executed mm, irrespective of uh, try block being executed successfully or exception being raised that is if the code inside try block has exceptions the exception will be executed the catch block code is executed and then the finally code is accept, uh, executed but if the try block the code inside try block is executed successfully then also the finally code will be executed so let's see it now we have an exception here arithmetic ex exception 2 divided by 0 so 0 1 2 do not divide by 0 learn math now the finally code I get executed every time irrespective of the situation now let's remove this exception that is the code inside try block will successfully execute now no exception will be arised but still the finally block will be executed see here 0 1 2 now the exception finally code I get executed each time irrespective of the situation so finally code will be executed irrespective of the exception being raised or not raised so you may think what's all this why should we write such a code but in complex programs such situation arise wherein user give the input here we take for loop we give values ourselves so there is no need of arise of exception but in case when user inputs these values he may input 2 divided by 0 which is an exception so we need to handle it so exceptions are used are of great use in such situations so learn this code practice simple examples like this and go for complex ones you will get used to it and it won't be so difficult watch the video once again if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section we shall learn together share this video with your friends on facebook twitter etc like the video on youtube subscribe to our youtube channel visit technotip.com and technotip.org thanks for watching